Hello and welcome back to Now Then. Today I have my amazing friend Matthias here. Hello, my northerners. Is that your <laughs> northern accent? It's not very northern. Don't laugh at me. Shall I teach you? Can you say, um, now then? Now then? Yeah, that was good. Can you do, hey up? Hey up. I have, why do I do the neck? Because I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say, um, hey bagum? <laughs> What did you even say there? <laughs> hey, ba gum. Then you have to do e e ba gum. E e ba gum. Vocal technique. Yes. E e e, 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 e ba. ba. Okay. Little vocal lesson for you. It just means oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh really? Like, like, oh, e, e ba gum. Oh, and your favorite one is oh bloody Nora. <laughs> Oh, we used to work together, by the way, when he would get stressed. Bloody Nora! And that was hilarious <laughs> to me, a little Ecuadorian boy. Mm. Kept saying, who's Nora? <laughs> Who is Nora? <laughs> Who is she, anyway? Give me you a know, call, any northerner who tell me who Nora is. is. <laughs> so today we're going to be reacting to the Queen. The Queen! Beyonce, to Stevie Wonder tribute with Ed Sheeran and Gary Clark. And I have my straw here. Kids Vocal use the straw. Straws at the ready? Straws, Straws ready. The ready. Now, now then. then, play it. Yeah. yeah. How y'all feeling tonight? Feeling great, Beyonce. Thank you for asking. I want you to stand up on your feet if you love Stevie Wonder. If you love Stevie Wonder like I love Stevie She loves a good uh, audience entrance, doesn't she? She does. She's wearing that cat suit. Mm. Hi, Steve. Everybody say yeah. Yeah. This is about bring yeah. those vocal folds together. Yeah. 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 Just a little bit of soul. She must be so oh. excited to sing this. I just love their little growls. They are so healthy. Yeah. There's, you can do specific techniques in distortion. Oh, for sure. There must be a specific vocal coach for all singers that like have to do it as rock stars, you know? Yeah. Beyonce, call me and teach me, please. Oh, yes, girl. Everything. She is known to give everything. Everything. And she's definitely live. Oh, this is. And all I could think then, she is such the modern day Tina Turner, isn't she? Oh, for sure. Like, show. Yeah. And, and we are missing those people now. Maybe some, like, Dua Lipa, sometimes she can dance and, but like, not like Beyonce. I don't know. No, think. no. I'm into the divas. I love the drums. Mm -hmm. Now if you want me to, if you want me to, I'm gonna swing the song. But let your hands a little bit louder. Let your hands just a little bit louder. I am, I am. Let your hands just a little bit louder. Okay, we are. Let your hands just a little bit louder. We are. We are, Beyonce. Come on. The band is yes. incredible. She just never stops. She's just in it from start to finish. Yes. She is selling it. She becomes this like creature on stage. I like the bit of raspy thing in there. 
I love this Caribbean flair that's on the song. Yeah, absolutely. It just makes you want to make me want to go to the beach and have a drink. Makes me want to go out. I haven't been out for nearly a year. Wear your mask. Voice. Don't you think he could have like dressed up a little bit more? It's very like laid back, but that's who he is. He is about the, the songwriting. That's the sort about, of artist he is. What's the other British guy who is all about like dressing up? Me? Aside from you, darling. Sam Smith. Sammy. If he's not called Sammy, it could have put like something a right, bit gassy around. More... He always had such open bowels. Yeah, she's so in it. Ooh. Yeah. She's reaching that like higher plane that you reach on stage when you're just like yes. your vibrations are just like Oh absolutely. I'm... And we don't deserve her. Like we don't. Talk about throwing yourself into your voice, like living in the moment. Yes! Sing with sing with that brass. Oh. I would if I could. She's living her life. She is. Oh, yes. There's something about his voice that I really liked, that really thin place. People! People! Kind of like Stevie as well. He's got a similar voice to him. And that really like, in some techniques they call it curbing. It's like under and thin. Ooh, okay. ah! so practice some curbing. <laughs> Playing with us. She's so musical. She picks up everything that's going on around her, naturally plays with that. Yes. Performing it, even though it's not her music, she knows how valuable CB is. Oh, she does a good tribute. She did Tina Turner tribute, Barbara Streisand to tribute. Mm -hmm. But who is going to do the Beyonce tribute? That's my question. I, I, that person better be brave. Brave. Shangela did a Beyonce tribute in front of Beyonce. Oh yeah. And she loved it. Beyonce gave her a standing ovation. We did a concert like this where like we're going to honour Beyonce. I mean everyone would want to do it, but who could sing a Beyonce song and pull it off? Only Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh yes. Look at all those people on their feet. That's electric guitar. Those are the best musicians in the industry, like... Oh yeah, definitely. And I bet she chose every single one of them. <laughs> Handpicked. Probably, yeah. Probably. Yes. Mm. Stevie is going. Yeah. I forgot Ed Sheeran was there. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like casually there with his guitar and Beyonce's like strutting around the stage like the fabulous creature mm -hmm. she is and Ed Sheeran's just at the back like... Just... Where's he from again? England. He's from like a little, little small town, mm. right? Did you just make that up? I don't know. I can imagine if you are like a singer-songwriter sort of vibe and then you're suddenly on stage with Beyonce. I mean, he can't suddenly be like... But is he red in the face? I don't know, I can't tell. But I would be. I think he's a little bit. Or, or he's just ginger. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I am a bit ginger, so that's not like discriminatory. We love the gingers. We love a ging. We love a ging. Oh. In a way, it actually makes me a bit emotional watching something like this, especially after the year we've been through. I agree. And how amazing live music is and how it can uplift people's souls. You and actually vibrate. When something is really good and everyone's just together there watching, you vibrate, literally, inside. It's like a, a high. Absolutely. Absolutely. It makes you miss it so much. And what it gives to people. It's important. Wear your masks. Woo! Come on! We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Yes! He worked. Ooh. Yes. What a fierce, what a fierce tribute. Wow. Full of Everything. Barriers just going. Love. Love. Sound. Excitement. Oh. Amazing energy when she's on stage. Absolutely. I wish, I want to see her live so, one time. I have. I you have? have? The Sasha Fierce tour. Okay. It uh, was amazing. I absolutely adored that album. I was obsessed with the Sasha Fierce mm. album. Halo and If I Were a Boy, right. Smash Into You. And that concert started with her doing like a Crazy in Love. The things I remember, she flew over the audience. She did single ladies up a skateboard ramp. She got a skateboard ramp just for that moment where they go diddly diddly diddly. Of course she did. There is no one like Beyonce now. She just keeps evolving. And yeah, reimagining herself. She doesn't just stick to what she's good at. She just keeps changing and keeps researching and finding new things and diving into her history or looking into the future of music. She's always revolutionizing or mm -hmm. moving music forward in some way. Yeah, and it can get political. It's incredible. She uses that platform to change things. She's a true, yeah. true artist. Queen Bee. Well, I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining us for this review. Keep well, keep safe, and I'll see you soon here on Now Then. And I hope Matthias will be back sometime. That's goodbye from both of us. Bye-bye. <laughs>